yeah, I'm tired of talking about it, thinking about it, and you know, being victimized by it because everybody thinks Armageddon is coming. And obviously, I'd love to see the Fed slow their roll um, because that lag effect. We've all we're all talking about it. Let's let the lag effect take effect here. Uh, obviously, it's been so far pretty good for bank earnings. What do you mean the lag effect? And victim well, victimized by the Fed. Go go into those statements there, Anton. Absolutely. Um, so first of all, you know, financials have performed pretty well of late, but have been hurt a lot this year because everybody's going, oh, my gosh, here comes a recession. Let's extrapolate to 2007 and 8. The banks are part of the solution, not part of the problem. A lot of lending, bad lending is taking place outside the banking system. They have plenty of capital. Uh, their process has been tight. Uh, as you can see from the earnings, no loan problems at all. And obviously, they've done a nice job, you know, capturing some of the rise in, in rates here. So financials are cheap. Um, the large ones look cheap versus the S&P. They may be 11 times earnings. The smaller guys are seven, eight, nine times earnings. And, and so there's really a, an opportunity here for a catch up in a big way just to the rest of the market. And this goes all the way back to when I was running money on this fund in 2000. Um, you know, the, the very large high PE stocks came under assault in 2000. And the low PE, dividend-paying financials performed really, really well for a number of years. And I think we're sort of setting up for that again. Uh, I don't expect Armageddon. Obviously, the Fed, you know, raises rates to 10 percent. Uh, all pets off. Nobody's forecasting that. But, you know, clearly, you've got to let some of these rate hikes, the lag, it's got to take effect. You've got to let some time pass. So these 75 basis point hikes in perpetuity have got to come to a, a halt. Well, I'm they an advocate of... Uh, they should. Uh, I think you're going to start seeing different numbers. I mean, one of the big lag effects, uh, you know, we saw some terrible numbers on housing last week, but you talk to anybody and, and housing is calming down a great deal. Rents should be calming down a great deal. And I think that effect, those numbers were, were awful looking last week, but there's a real lag to that. And I think that'll start showing up. The Fed can't control what energy prices are going to do. I mean, what OPEC is doing is what OPEC is doing. It's unfortunate. Uh, we do have a solution here in this country. Uh, I think the people in Texas would love to talk about that solution, but there's there's no doubt about it that you know self sufficiency would be very helpful to us. That's not happening. But the Fed raising rates is not going to deal with the price of oil. No, we 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 were talking about getting rid of oil three years ago. Now we're desperate for more oil. But that's that's an energy segment. One thing I love about mm -hmm. you, Anton, is that you get on a plane, you travel the country, you talk to management. I mean, when's the last time you were in Billings, Montana, with First Interstate <laughs> Bank System? You know, I haven't been there in a long time, but I've known the CEO for a long time. He's he's run a number of other banks and been involved as a CFO at a number of other big banks. And you know what's nice about that bank is they completed a large merger. They've got a large dividend. Earnings estimates are too low. And they actually have a chance to be added to an important S&P index. So you might get that as well. So I've got the recipe for everything. You've got a very conservative management team there. So, you know, love that upside. I love self-help stories. And this is a self-help story. That merger is going to work out very well for this company. And that first interstate name was a brilliant acquisition years ago. There was a, a company by the same name that Wells Fargo bought that had a really great cachet on the West Coast. So I expect them to keep expanding. And I love the earnings trajectory of this company. 